Welcome to my channel Living Linux. Today I will try to install a daily build of Ubuntu 20.04 on my Phytium ARM computer. So I downloaded the ISO image, installed it on a USB stick. So I'm gonna power on the Phytium and then I can press F2 to get to the boot menu. So here I can select the Kingston USB stick. So now I can choose to boot Ubuntu. Well, you can ignore those two error messages and just let it boot. And it seems that it is a live image and I think that it is doing some initialization so the first time can take some time it's a bit of a pity that it's not showing what it's actually doing so you don't see any progress So I guess it is almost done with booting. So now we have mouse pointer. That's a good sign. And here we have Ubuntu. So let's see. Let me go to the settings. And we do about, so this is my Phytium computer with an AMD Radeon RX 550 and you can see Ubuntu Jemmy Jellyfish development branch and let's see if it starts Firefox and there is an internet connection so that should be a problem and I also tried an earlier version and I had the same problem there that Firefox doesn't start so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install on the SSD so yes I'll go with English and I think I'll just go with this one because I'm in Europe and we use the Euro so I go with normal installation download updates while installing Ubuntu and also install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats So as I said already tried it before so we're gonna erase the existing one and do a reinstall. So 
so this might be different for you and we can continue here and Amsterdam is fine with me so let's set up the user and the computer so let's just say let's fight him choose a password Okay. So, well, it's very small, but at least you can see what it is doing. So, So it is complaining something about trying to connect to a non-root Pulse Audio as a root user. Well, I guess perhaps that is because this is a live image. Perhaps something isn't set up properly, who knows. So when it's done copying files, it should try to do the installation. So when it's done with the installation, I will come back, so I'll just pause the video here. Well, this is perhaps interesting, because as i shown that there is an AMD RX 550 in this machine, and here it says possible missing firmware for AMD GPU. So, we'll have to see if I can install that later on. Perhaps not today, but that perhaps will come in a different video. So, I'm going to pause it again. So, we'll see, we'll come back when it's done with the installation. So, it finished the installation and we can restart now
and not really sure if the reboot is successful so I don't see anything happening so for now I'll just switch it off completely and I'll take out the USB stick let it boot again and now with F8 I'm going to change the boot order yes so here we are in the BIOS setup so boot options so I also tried to install Debian but that didn't work for me so I can remove that one and I'm going to change the boot order so the SSD needs to come before the UFI shell so that should be it and let's see okay so hopefully it will boot from the SSD Here it is. So and not going to connect online accounts. So well, I want to know them that there are actually ARM64 users out there using Ubuntu so yes I will send system info to Canonical and I don't need location services and I'm ready to go so with one of the earlier builds and also with the live image Firefox wouldn't start, so let's see what happens now. And I'm afraid it still doesn't start, which is a bit odd. So let's see if we start Firefox from the command line, let's see if that works. Well, Okay, so when we started from the command line and Okay, so there's some more updates Python, Samba Oh, that's just a small update, so you can remind me later Um yeah, it's a bit weird that the icon doesn't start Firefox properly and that you can start it from the command line. So let's just say when we test YouTube. Yes, I agree. Let's go to dark theme and in my case I need to change the 
audio output so let's see sound and go to the HDMI so that's working and let's just say big buck bunny and so last time I was able to play 1440p so let's do the stat for nerds So, 15 dropped frames at the start. You know, at the start it can happen sometimes that you get some dropped frames, but from here, well, 16. So it looks like 1440p YouTube. That is perfectly playable. Although there are still some dropped frames here and there but I guess you won't notice that so this is my first test with an early build of Ubuntu 20.04 on my octa-core ARM computer I guess this video is already long enough, so I'll stop the video here and I hope to see you again in my next video.